Welcome to Turntable Class with GB Audio. This is part three of the Thorin's TD-126 Mark II setup tutorial. We're about to look at the tone arm setup, so tracking weight, anti-skate setting, uh, as well as the arm tube and the cartridge fixing and alignment. First thing we're going to need to do to set up the tone arm is to make sure the cartridge is aligned properly. And once it's in the correct position on the end of the tone arm, uh, we can then set the balance and the anti-skate. The TP16 tone arm has an interesting knurled ring here. Unlike a normal head shell, with this deck you can remove the, the front half of the arm that's handy for replacing a cartridge quickly if you've got a separate cartridge for 78s and 45s and 33s. Uh, it's also helpful for adjusting the cartridge position because the screws that hold it are screwed in from underneath. Thorin's originally supplied a, a handy gauge uh, that you could just sit the, the TP26 head tube into and it would line up the cartridge for you. Um, this deck doesn't have that with it so we're going to do it the traditional old way with a two-point cartridge alignment protractor. There are two points here um, which we try and line up the cartridge on to get a mean average between the two. Let's have a look, see how that would work. We don't want the turntable turning. So we sit the cartridge. I'm not actually sitting the stylus on. The Ortofon cartridge has a handy little protector cover. So it can sit on the protector with the stylus tip just above the target point on the protractor. Now we can see immediately this is way off and the second position is also way off square. Bring the whole thing forward a little bit that's sitting squarer so that means we need to move the cartridge back a bit on the head shell. And we can see that it needs to move about five millimeters. So let's remove the head shell and tube and have a look at the adjustments. Okay, there are two little screws here. We'll loosen them a bit. And then it should be possible to just slide this head shell back a little bit. Make sure the tube is lined up horizontally. Before I tighten it up, I'm going to try it back with the protractor. Make sure it lines up. It's gone a little too far the other way and it's got a tilt on it so while it's still loose I'm going to make final adjustments. It's now lining up well. 
So I'll take the tube off again. And retighten the screws. Before doing a final test, now we can see that's looking pretty good. It's impossible to get two positions perfect, of course, but if they're both equally variant, then that's that's the best place to be. Alright, now that the cartridge is in the right position and the right alignment, we can do the tone arm balance. We need the deck to be running, or power on, and we need the arm to be in the lower position. Once it's in the lower position, we can switch it off, and now we can attend to the adjustments on the back of the arm here. Firstly, this little knurled adjuster here is showing the tracking weight. In order to calibrate it, we set it to zero. And the arm's tipping back now. So we use the counterweight at the back to adjust the arm until it sits in balance. Now interestingly, this cartridge is so light that it won't actually balance with the counterweight fully forward. So I'm going to have to apply 0.5 on here and use that as the datum point. So now we've got the arm lovely horizontal balance and we're starting at 0.5 so to get a tracking weight of 1.5 we have to turn the gauge up to 2 and the anti-skate device on the side here we dial that into 1.5 for an elliptical stylus which this one is. And that's it set and ready to go. Thanks for watching and if you found this useful please subscribe to our channel below. Good luck setting up your own turntable. Thank you.